In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Fetch XML within Microsoft Power Automate Flows. Okay, so uh, for one example, uh, I'd need a table to uh, query the Fetch XML. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to use Dynamics 36 for Customer Service Hub as a table. Okay, so this is a case entity or a case table which has all the listed case for that particular period of time. Now, uh, if I want to generate some sort of a query, then how do I do that in the modern interfaces? First is <clears throat> I'm going to search the case, okay? Mm -hmm. And over here, I can see search for rows in a table using advanced filter. So the query which I'm going to write is very simple. Uh, what it will say is like, uh, I want to view the case which has been created in the last five days, okay? So that's the query. So if I click on the search for rows in an advanced filter, uh, it will uh, ask me to select a table. Now, for me, the table is cases. Okay, so I'm going to click on cases, and this is the uh, case table, which uh, uh, which is rendered over here. Now, it, by default, it has some sort of a query over mm -hmm. defined over here. It says owner equals current user, status equals active. Maybe I can get rid of the query if I don't want this. Okay, I can delete this. Uh, or maybe I can delete this as well. So I'll write a new query. I'll say add row and I'll say, okay, show me the cases which was created on uh, in the last X days. Okay, so X days is five days. Okay, and I'll click on apply. Okay, now, but I'll not click on apply because once you click on apply, then the data goes away. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to click on download fetch XML. Okay. And maybe just to make it more interesting, I will just say add row and I'll say uh, case origin. Okay, case, uh, let me find out that field, case origin, which is starts with O origin uh, equals either phone or email. Okay, if that's the case, then generate a fetch XML. So I'll just download the fetch XML. Now the fetch XML will be stored as a part of XML file. I'll just say keep this, okay? And I will open this file, okay? Now let me click open file. And then it will open that HTML or uh, XML file uh, in my uh, editor, okay? Now in my, in my case, the editor is uh, uh, VS Code. So this is how the fetch XML gets generated, okay? So if you see here, this is how the fetch XML looks like, okay? Just to show you uh, uh, the fetch XML, I'll just click on entity over here, attribute over here, and this is an attribute, and then attribute. So this is how the fetch XML looks like, okay? So it will fetch in all the columns which is required and then based on that it will filter out uh, and the condition which we have written over here is created on its last x days and another condition case origin code which is case origin column uh, with a uh, value as one two one two is basically uh, email and the web as a case origin so this is my fetch example okay now how do we go and use this okay so let me get rid of that screen we we create a power automate okay so i'm in make.powerautomate.com i'm the right environment i'll go create and i'll create an inst or maybe automated cloud flow or or maybe an instant cloud flow okay in this case i'll say uh list last five days cases okay or maybe email this out okay i'll just click on manually trigger a flow create it and the table which we are going to refer is dataverse okay so add an action i'll select dataverse as a table and i'll select the control of uh, the dataverse and i want to retrieve the rows so this is the control which i need to select list rows okay so in list rows you need to specify which table okay so I'm going to pick up case table because in our case, this is the case. The data comes from the case table, so that's cases, okay? And in the advanced parameter, if you open the advanced parameter, you'll see something called a fetch XML query. You just select that, click outside, and the fetch XML which you have just created, let me go here, copy this, okay? And paste it over here, okay? Now this is the fetch XML, uh, I have uh, pasted, it, okay? Now, that's it, you know, uh, I think we are done with the flow. What we can do, uh, we can even send that, uh, the output of this list row as a HTML and send across in an email, but I'm not going to do that because the demonstration is all about using fetch XML within your 
power automate control okay so i'll click on save okay. still saving and the flow is saved now now let me test it okay if i test this okay now before i test it i just want to see the result over here okay so now this is the dynamics 365 interface we have created this query let me click on apply and uh, oh the output is technically zero okay uh, so uh, let me go to all cases okay and maybe let me add something uh, in the last five days so case there is web there is email uh, so i think i have a specific record over here so that should be fine let me run this flow and see how many record does it retrieve okay i'll just run this flow click on done and it will run that fetch xml and based on the condition it will uh, list down the rows okay so now if i click on list rows over here and if you see the raw output it says the action is succeeded and if i see the show row output then this is the output it has produced okay so like this you can uh, create uh, the the control basically uh, to list down the fetch example now here in this case if if i I write a query, you know, like I'll say I just want to get all the records, so 46 records. So if I again click over here and then just type cases, okay, continue. And uh, if this is the query, you know, owner is current user status is active, I'll just say download fetch XML, I'll copy the XML, I'll open this fetch XML again. This is the XML, I'll copy this fetch XML, I'll go to my Power Automate, and now this time I'll edit the flow. You click on list rows it's as simple as just removing this fetch xml pasting this xml and saving on the flow okay once that is saved i will again test it I'll test it run manual trigger and run the flow and now this time it took 0.3 second if i click on the run command uh, i'll see show raw output this is the output which it has generated now it has more records over here okay earlier there were no records uh, but now here you can see that there are more records now these are all individual records okay which has been returned by power automate so like this i believe uh, we should have uh, received around 43 rows okay so if we actually see the output of this, it should be uh, around 43 records, which has been written. So basically, uh, in a nutshell, I'd say uh, the goal was to, you know, how to use Fetch XML within Power Automate. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of fact, you go into the uh, any application and then generate a Fetch XML out of it. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, as I already had a, an application built over here uh, and the search control over here, uh, I could have used this advanced filter. You know and then this advanced filter would have appeared and then i could have run those fetch xml now uh what if we do not have those uh, uh like if you do not have a model driven app or something like that then uh, how do we uh, generate those fetch xml so you can go into the back end you know uh, i like uh, i have already created one video uh, with regards to uh, fetch xml in my uh, not fetch xml but then i've created that video to uh, explore the advanced find view okay so if you go into my channel and you can find advanced find so how to enable advanced find functionality here i give you the clue on how to uh, trigger those advanced find options within your dynamics 365 uh, application or any model driven app now here uh, if you just see, uh, you just need to append page type equal to advanced find in the URL. So here, uh, if I just remove the other query string and just say uh, page type equal to advanced find. So it will, uh, what it will do, it will go in the back end and uh, try to render the uh, old interface of advanced find. Uh, again, it's the same screen, uh, similar screen, I'd say. Uh, and within that screen, uh, you should be able to uh, create a query. And then once you have the query created, like like this way, uh, you can select, say, column, and you can say, hey, if my 
uh, say if uh, state is, is equal to something you know uh, say active okay if that's the query then you can query it okay you can see the result okay so i'll just run it and i'll show you the result now this is the result of that advanced find now that qu this query is not uh, okay for me what i'll do is uh, i need to select the proper uh, table okay so in my case it is cases so this is cases and okay to discard changes and look for cases and from here i'll say uh, case origin so which is an origin field is web okay so if origin is web then show me all the records okay and i run this uh, i'll just run this result and this is 17 resulted as received okay now if i go to advanced find and click on download fetch xml again this will give you that xml and then you can use that xml within the power automate application so i'm just opening that xml again the same step uh, it will open it in your favorite uh, editor window and then once that is there once that is opened uh, you can go ahead and uh, open this uh, fetch xml copy this and then put it in uh, microsoft power automate so that's it folks this is all about using uh, fetch xml within a model driven app uh, using power automate to retrieve the records within the backend system thanks for watching